China. Now, that's not bad going, is it? On that's the phone from China, one of our GB Olympic coaches talking about the Amateur Boxing Association finals tomorrow and also possibly looking back, looking at what they're doing in the build-up to China. It's only Beijing we're talking about. Coming it's only about 80-odd yeah. days away. Mm -hmm. And the eight British boxers that are going of the 80-odd days, they'll be away from home 70-odd days at different places around the world, boxing or sparring. It's a professional outfit. But we started Us on the line is Great Britain performance coach Nigel Davies. Thank you very much for joining us. Nigel, very good afternoon to you. Uh, very good afternoon to you too, Steve. You're not hear me. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's Rodri here. It's a fellow Welshman, but about Steve. The Welsh accent, yeah, right? Steve is here, <laughs> but you're coming to us. So where do you call? Where are we, where are we speaking to you? Um, I'm driving on the way home from the Sheffield uh, camp. Okay, uh, Nigel, uh, they're out in China, the Olympic boys, uh, men, most of the Olympic team, the, the great eight, is that correct, Nigel? Uh, we've got uh, three going out there with uh, Dave Pock now this afternoon. Okay, now wh what's that tournament, is that the official pre-Olympic tournament, Nigel? No, no, this, this tournament is in Taipei, uh, they're going to uh, Macau to the holding camp, the Olympic holding camp, yep. and then they've been invited to a tournament in Taipei, so they, they're going to have a look at the... Um, the opponents there, future opponents. Now, Nigel, are you going to be at your call tomorrow for the 120th ABA Finals? Because, in theory, there's your 2012 boys there. Yeah, I, no, I, I won't be there myself. No, I, 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 I wish I could be there, but uh, I won't be there. Okay. Uh, Nigel, I'm sure you'll be getting reports. Uh, how is the future looking? Oh, very good, very good. I mean, uh, you know, we've got eight qualified now for the Olympics. Uh, excellent squad uh, and the boys coming behind them the development boys again also an excellent squad so i think the future looks very bright now, now, nigel, sorry, sorry nigel what can we do to to make sure that that we get some scots and some welsh inside this i know that the scottish boxers went to the world championships as did, as did the welsh and also to the two olympic qualifiers but the team is made up of eight english boxers. The last Olympics was one English boxer. The Olympics before that there were two English boxers and the Olympics before that there were also two English boxers. But a long time since a Welshman or a Scotsman went to the Olympics. What can we do about the two uh, amateur associations in, in Wales and Scotland to just increase interest and put them in with a better chance of having some representatives at 2012? Um, I, I think it's to do with funding. Um, I think a structure needs to be put in place where the there is funding there uh, to employ full-time coaches and development coaches. Yep. Uh, the talent is there. There's no doubt about it, you know. So, um, so it's just giving them the money so they can go away to weekly sessions month after month after month. Is it that simple? Yes, I think it is, really. I think for the first time, um, we, we are able to compete on an equal level with the Russians and the Eastern Bloc countries. Sure. Nigel, which out of these eight names should we look out for? Oof. Um, to be honest, it, I mean, the fashion that they all, qual the way that they qualified, every one of them yeah. could, could, you know, could bring a medal back. Well, what would be a realistic haul uh, of medals? What would you expect? Uh, law of averages and the way the boxes are performing. Uh, uh, it's just a personal opinion, but I, I think four or five. Four, oh, that's... four or five would be staggering, and I agree with you, Nigel. Every single one of the eight boxers we've got going, in the last cycle, that's the 12 months, in the last 12 months, all of the eight have beaten uh, either an Olympic medalist from Athens or a world or a European medalist. Now, that's ne we've never, ever sent away a team of two with this much talent. We're sending away eight boxers, and of those eight boxers, there is not a weak link. There's no Gary Neville in this team, trust me. Yeah. Uh, just, 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 <laughs> Sorry, just, I mean, that's uncalled for, but, you know. Just very quickly, uh, Nigel, uh, you're talking about the funding there. There's, uh, you know, it's never been a better time to sort of get behind boxing following recent success of uh, uh, one Welshman by the name of Joe Calzaghi and Enzo Calzaghi and his stable there on the professional scene. So where's the funding going to come from and who's going to push for this? Because you don't want to miss the boat, do you? No, no. But I, I think uh, on the back of this success, that we've had with the, the Great Britain team. Um, I think more and more Welsh and Scottish boxers will um, get into the, into the Great Britain squad. Um, it, it's only a matter of time. Uh, but I think the funding will come probably from UK Sport or through the Sports Council for Scotland and Wales.
Okay, Nigel. Great, thank you very much for joining us. Let's hope you bring Thanks, back Nigel. a lot of medals from Beijing. Yeah, five out of eight would be brilliant. Drive safely, Nigel. Stunning. Nice to hear from you. Five out of eight would be stunning. They are doing something very interesting. Just quickly, what they're doing, Kev, you, you'll love this. What they're doing in Sheffield, where they've got this base, they train four days a week every single week, and they have done for 18 months. What they do is they also train and spar with pros. Yeah, uh, uh, your name's, on, been, your name's should, on their list to go up and do some sparring with them. It should have been mixed in. It should all be mixed in. I think you look like sort of Cubans. Cubans, they, they live it all day, every so they're day. they're pros anyway. They're like, they, if you look at the Cubans, it's, it's unbelievable. They're, they've got kids better than our adults, and that's not even messing around. And it's because what they do, they live it. It's in their schools. It's keeping them out of trouble. And, and as they grow and progress, they, they're, 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 they're Gold medalists coming out of their earholes, aren't yeah. they? This is just dope. Live, live yeah. and breathe it. Hey, Kevin, it's been great having you.